What if Goku was born with Ultra Ego? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 6? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Previously on What If Goku Was Born With Ultra Ego, we mentioned that Goku has now told all the Z fighters to come join him to go to Planet Namek to defeat Frieza, as they all made plans on how to get there but from there, Mirus has arrived with his spaceship at the Galactic Patrol Officer and he told Goku that he'll take him to where's Planet Namek since Frieza is gathering the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality, and having an immortality Frieza would be not good for the universe. Goku and everyone else decided to go to Planet Namek as it got there within just an hour, but from there Captain Ginyu you stabbed him in the back as he went and joined Frieza's side and told him everything about Goku's power. Goku then confronted Frieza as Frieza was well informed about Goku and from there he went and used his final form. Frieza began to go and attack Goku but Goku went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan holding his own against Frieza's final form. Frieza saw that Goku's Super Saiyan power was impressive and that he was able to beat him so he decided to go and shock everybody by transforming into his golden form. Once when he did, Frieza went and he began to beat the shit out of Goku as he tried to do everything he can to overpower him while Goku tried to go and escape Frieza but Frieza continued to attack him non-stop. Goku then decided to go and use his full power as he went and transformed into his Ultra Ego. We have a fight of Ultra Ego Goku vs Golden Form Frieza. Find out what happens inside this part and make sure you click the bell so you'll be the first time the next episode comes out. What if Goku was born with Ultra Ego Part 6? Goku has just transformed into his Ultra Ego as Frieza in his black form was really confused on Goku's new power while everyone who's seen this power already knew how powerful this power is. Huh? What the hell? What kind of power are you using there, monkey? <laughs> well, I guess you never see me inside this power ever. This is the power that you'll sense now, Frieza. Can't you not recognize it? From there, Frieza began to recognize the power since Goku did use it on Earth and he did pick up a strange energy. And from there, he said, Wait, so that was your power? Ha! Who would ever thought, monkey, you have this much strength? I'm so glad I'm able to fight someone like you. With your type of caliber person, I'm able to test out my black form. And I'm able to test out my full power with this. They call this power of the destruction. That is what my mentor, Mirus, told me. Ha! You could call it whatever. You'll see the true power right here. As Goku and Frieza stare towards one another, and now their second round has begun. Goku went and he charged right towards Frieza, while Frieza did the same and their power clashed with one another and they're going bad it back and forth. With each landing blow, the entire Namek was shaking as everyone could sense that Goku's power was about to go and destroy the planet just from using it while Black Frieza's form was also so strong that it caused the planet to lose some of its stability. And as they're going at it, Goku was able to pick up one power level as he stopped and said, What the? Where's that energy coming from? I gotta remember that. From there, since he dropped his guard, Frieza went and striked him across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Frieza then chased after Goku as he picked him up and from there he began to hit him but Goku quickly went and dodged it as he strikes Frieza right in his face and from there Goku went and kneed him as their battle continued. With each landing blow the entire world was shaking but from there Goku went and he powered up a destroyer blast and aimed it right towards Frieza. Frieza went and he powered up one of his strongest blasts and he aimed towards Goku's blast as both of them had a wave clash with one another and once when it dispersed, Goku came right in front of Frieza and decked him, getting to be sent flying. Goku then rushed right towards him as he continued to hit Frieza. Frieza got really angry as he brushed Goku off and said, There's no way in hell you're able to tie with my power, monkey. I am far stronger than any of you guys. I am the strongest in this universe. <laughs> well, is that so? 
Then how about you first beat me, Frieza, because I'm clearly stronger than you. Your father thought the same, and he died by me just when I was a child. Let's see what you can do. How dare you! With that, Frieza, filled with rage and anger, clouded his memory as he went and rushed right towards Goku, and he began to punch him recklessly. Goku was able to dodge all of Frieza's head, and from there Goku went and did a reverse. As he elbowed him right in his face, he decked him in his stomach, and from there Goku began to go and beat the shit out of him. Frieza went and he tried to do everything he can to hold his own against Goku, but this is a mastered ultra ego user right here. Goku managed to go and master this power to his fullest thanks to the help with Mirrors, and because of that, he is able to use Ultra Ego to his fullest as he began to go and beat the shit out of Frieza. Goku then went and he kicked him right in his jaw, and he began to power up a destroyer Kamehameha wave without noticing it is a Hakai Kamehameha wave, and he looked towards Frieza and said, It is time I kill you right here, Frieza. I don't want to ever hear anyone mention your name to me. Now die! As Goku aimed his blast right towards Frieza, and the blast came hit him head on, and he died right there. Goku's Ultra Ego power proved to be far stronger than Frieza's black form. As Frieza done everything he can to train and master his black form, but the power of mastered, you could say, Ultra Ego form is far stronger than Frieza. As Goku managed to kill him from there, and he went and reverted right back to his base. Once when he did, everyone was very amazed and shocked as he couldn't believe that Goku managed to go and kill Frieza while Captain Ginyu had no idea what to do if he should join Goku or should he just hide but no one wanted Captain Ginyu to join him so they went and killed him off. From there Goku gave the Namekian the Dragon Balls that Frieza had in his possession as Guru couldn't stop thinking Goku and he decided to go and unleash Goku's potential. Now that Goku got his potential unleashed by Guru, it gives him a huge boost to his power where in a canon he never got Guru's potential unleashed but here he did. But Goku wasn't the only one. Piccolo also got his potential unleashed allowing him to have a huge boost to his power level and from there everyone was shocked to see just how powerful Goku and Piccolo were. They then decided to go right back home as Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz had nowhere else to go so they decided to tag along. But Goku told him to go without him since he wanted to go check out the power level that he sensed during his fight with Frieza. Mirrors has arrived as he congratulated everyone on their great battle with Frieza and he helped everyone get back home while Goku told him that he wants to go to a place where he sensed a very high power level. Mirrors knew exactly what Goku's talking about after all he is an angel and from there Mirrors had to go and guide Goku where he is as he took Goku to that planet and Goku ended up coming to a remote planet known as Planet Vampa. Turns out Goku was able to sense Broly's power level while he was fighting with Frieza as he saw that that power level was really huge and he wanted to go check it out and once when he did, he saw two Saiyans who was looking to survive and they have nowhere else to live were stranded in that planet as Goku has introduced himself to them and from there they are all very happy that Goku has come to help them but from there Goku saw Broly's power as he was amazed and said, damn your power is amazing, do you mind if we spar with one another? I just came back after killing Frieza. Wait, Frieza? He's the one that used to rule planet Vegeta. Yeah, I just killed him right now. My god. And I'm sorry to hear that King Vegeta is the one who sent you to this planet. But you could come live with me on planet Earth. That's where I live. And we also got three other Saiyans living there with us too. What? More Saiyans? Yeah. But first, I'm going to spar with you, Broly. Uh, sure. As Goku and Broly got in their ready position. And from there, their battle has begun. Goku went and rushed right towards Broly as he striked him across his face but Broly was able to brush it off and he hit Goku back and they're going at it back and forth. Goku then saw that Broly began to lose his anger as he started to take this battle a little bit too serious and from there Broly went and he began to use his wrath form as he went and chased right after Goku and he striked him across his face. Goku saw that this battle is going to get a lot intense and that he needs to go use more power and from there Goku decided to go and transform into his Super Saiyan. Upon using his Super Saiyan power, Goku went and strike Broly, getting to be sent flying meters away. Broly then got up as he continued to lose his anger and he went and rushed right towards Goku and he started to attack him but Goku was dodging all of Broly's attack and he was really impressed with Broly's power but Broly continued to lose it as he got angry that he couldn't hit Goku and from there Broly felt a push as he went and he screamed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Broly has transformed into his Super Saiyan as he went and he uppercut Goku, getting Goku to be sent flying high in the air. Goku went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan 2, a power which he was also able to pick up while he was living on Earth. And from there, he still wasn't able to match Broly's Super Saiyan power, as Broly went and he tried to strike Goku, but Goku was able to dodge his strike. And from there, Goku went and tried to punch him back, but Broly was far stronger than him. Goku then saw that the only way to stop Broly, since his power already exceeds Golden Frieza's power, Goku decided to go and use more strength as his Super Saiyan 2 power began to go and help him since he did get his potential unleashed, allowing him to have a higher Zenkai boost, he went and strike Brawly across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Brawly got really angry as he began to throw recklessly attack towards Goku and those attacks ended up destroying the planet as it was a Rajon explosion, but he didn't care, he just wanted to go and hit Goku and make sure he wins this battle. Goku saw that Broly was completely out of control as he began to go and power up a Kamehameha wave and before he can, Paragus thought that Goku was going to kill him so he came right in front of Goku and tried to make him not use the wave but when Goku brushed him off, Paragus fell towards the rock as it crushed him and he died right there. Unintentionally trying to kill his father, Broly saw that as he thought that Goku killed his dad so he lost his shit and he went and began to go and transform to his legendary Super Saiyan. Dare you! Damn, relax, Brawly, it was an accident! And plus, I could bring him back! Without reasoning with Goku, Brawly went and rushed right towards Goku as he grabbed him by his face and he scraped it right towards the ground and threw it high in the air. Brawly powered up an attack and aimed it right towards Goku. Goku got hit as he fell right towards the ground and he was in pain. It took him time to get up, but when he did, Goku then ripped his gi as he saw that Brawly was out of control and he was trying to go and kill Goku, so Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed to his Ultra Ego yet again, as Broly and his legendary Super Saiyan went and rushed right towards Goku and when he tried to strike it, Goku went and caught his fist and he twisted it as Goku striked him right in his face and from there, Goku went and uppercut Broly. After all, this is the first time Goku is using his power after it got his potential unleashed. Once when Goku uppercut Broly, he instantly came right in front of him as he striked him back in his face, getting Broly to fall right towards the ground. Broly then got up but saw Goku was already there as Goku began to punch his face non-stop and from there Goku went and he one-shot Broly just to get him passed out. With getting his potential unleashed, Goku was able to now use his Ultra Ego to a next level allowing him to easily one-shot Broly who was inside his legendary Super Saiyan where in the canon it took Vegeta and Goku to fuse to use Gogeta Blue to beat him. Here they easily beat him with just Goku using Ultra Ego. Is this the extent to Goku's power or is there more? All this will be answered in the next episode. If you haven't clicked the bell yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click it so you'll be the first when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, please click the link in the description below and join it so you get a chance to talk with me and the rest of my T23 crews. And as always, my Z fans, please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23. Help him get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please, everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe. <laughs>